Hi guys, so assume that you, you already rooted the Samsung Galaxy S3 smartphone on the X6 DLIB firmware and now the time has come to install the latest Blocker Mod DW which is the touch face and comes with the latest version number of 6.0.12 so assuming that you already rooted as I said earlier and you have checked with the root checker application whether you have rooted or not you can proceed to update the latest version of Takamura Touch Recovery so head over to the link which is mentioned just below this article which you take up here and then up next you know to down first up follow all the instructions mentioned over here including the inst instructions to back up all your data so as to make sure that just in case if the data is lost or corrupted the same will be in a position to be back or restored so assuming that you have done all that just download these both files that's the latest proper not touch recovery along with the ODM. so once you have downloaded both of these files to the desktop preferably head over to the desktop and then all you need to do is just open the ODM in your computer so once you have opened the ODM in your computer with your laptop probably pick up your Galaxy H3 smartphone just close, close all your applications and then long press on the power button to just simply turn off the device so once the device is powered off you get a small vibration press the volume down key followed by the menu button and then press the power button simultaneously and then all you need to do is press the volume up key just to enter the device in the download mode so once Odin is opened in your computer and the download mode is entered in your phone just connect your USB cable of which another end should be connected to your laptop or PC so once it's done connected you can see that the IDCOM section will turn yellow which will indicate that all the drive required drivers have been installed and you can proceed with the file selection since this is a Odin 1.85 the Odin IDCOM is getting yellow just in case if you are using the latest Odin version that's Odin 3 3.0.4 version or something like that you will be getting the IDCOM section as green or blue kind of thing so once it's done just click on PDA but before you do that ensure that the recovery files are extracted so this is a recovery file which I have extracted it and then in Odin click on PDA and then all you need to do is to select this file the recovery CWM1 so once it's done, you need to check with the file name. The file name should read recovery hyphen cwm hyphen touch hyphen six zero one two i nine three three zero dot tar. This dot tar is very important. Otherwise, all the files won't be detected. So once it's done and you have selected the correct file all you need to do is just click on start so as you can see that within a flash within a matter of few seconds the touch recovery was installed and now you can see that the Galaxy S3 smartphone will be booting up it may take a minute or two to start the device so once it's done so here it is so now to test it we'll be powering up the device remove the USB cable Once you have removed the USB cable and then you have 
turned off, the phone will be vibrated with a small intensity. Press the volume up key. Then the menu button. And then simultaneously press the power button. Keep it holding. So here it is. This is a clock mode mode recovery version 6.0.1.2. So here you will find various options that is reboot system now, install the from SD card, wipe data factory reset, wipe cache partition, backup and restore, which I guess no one should use it ever because many of the users have used this option and they have potentially break the devices. And this is one of the areas which Clockwork Nautica we needs to look upon. We need to look upon. So once it's done. So you have other options called mounts and storage, advanced. So let's check out for the options which are there in advanced. Head over to the option advanced and then press the power button. Once it's done, you'll find one more set of options that is reboot recovery, five dive cache, wipe battery stats, report error, key test, show log, fix permissions, etc. And then go back. Best part of this is it's touch based. So you can control or use all the controls with the help of just a touch. So once it's done, you are ready to install the custom ROM firmware which will be coming up in the next few days. So now, as of now, I'm just selecting the option of reboot system now. So you can see that once the reboot system now selection is being done, the Galaxy S3 smartphone is rebooted. It is working pretty fine. So that's it from us. Stay tuned for more updates.